It was a big Friday of high school football with three huge games in our area. We start in Iowa where a pair of local teams look to punch their ticket to the Dome. Let's start in 4A. North Scott looking for the, or making, I should say, the long trip north to take on Decorah. Second quarter, Lancers playing comeback down 7-0. Chase Smith airs it out for Carson Leggy, and that's a thing of beauty. The touchdown strike ties things up at 7. To the fourth quarter we go, though, North Scott down 17-7. But coming back once again, a little trickery. Cash Bowie takes the end around, stops and throws it back to Smith. He goes in for the touchdown. Lancer is right back in it, down just 17-14. Later in the fourth, it's 24-14, and that same combination strikes again. Smith to Leggy. This one gets to the end zone as well after some great running. He bounces outside, gets to the end zone. Lancer has cut the lead to three once again. After a stop on defense, North Scott Gets one last chance to win it late, and they do just that. Just 29 seconds to go. It's Chase Smith to Kai Smith for the go-ahead touchdown, and that's your game winner. The Lancers' first lead of the game is also their only lead of the game. North Scott heading back to the Dome, 28-24, your final score. I'm extremely proud of our guys. You know, it wasn't easy. We knew Decorah was a hell of a program. Um, you know, 10-0, and 0, and they beat some really good teams. But, you know, we kept talking about staying the course, staying together, finding a way. When we scored there, uh, we knew the, the game wasn't finished, and we got it. We had to get that one stop, and we finally got it, and then all the motions finally came in, and it was just unbelievable. When we were down this uh, sideline, chasing my signal, I'm like, okay, I knew I got to make a play. He threw it up. I saw the ball. I just knew I had to go get it. I mean, we've been making plays like all that all year. Uh, Carson and Cash been doing that all year, and... I knew we had to make a big play, and that's what happened. North Scott will play North Polk Thursday night at the Unidome at 7 p.m. In 1A, Wilton battling a familiar foe in the quarterfinals after a scoreless first quarter against Iowa City. Regina, the Beavers get a big play on defense. Regina going deep to the end zone, but Jordan Dusenberry, skies high, picks off the pass at the one-yard line. Wilton would go to work after that. Drew Keith looking over the middle, connecting with Dusenberry for 15 yards and a first down. Beavers cap off a 13-play, 99-yard drive with the Keith to kill McQuinnon, 18-yard touchdown. 7-0 Wilton in front. Regina would answer in the ensuing drive. Kyle Tracy throwing it over the top to Tate Wallace, 25 yards. Just like that, we're tied at seven. Time winding down in the first half. Regals looking for the go-ahead score, but it's Dusenberry, the right man at the right time, the interception. They go to the half, tied at seven. Wilton scores with 29 seconds left as well in this one. They beat Regina, the Beavers, heading to the Dome for the first time in school history. It was an all-Western Big Six battle for the second round in the IHSA playoffs. And tonight, Moline making the trip south to visit the conference champs to Quincy we go, Moline and the Blue Devils meeting for the second time in seven weeks. First quarter in this one, first drive, Moline out to a great start. Adrian Cooper hammers in from two yards out. The Maroons with a 7-0 early lead, but the Blue Devils would answer quickly with that high-powered offense. First on the ground, Jarius Rice hammers in from two yards out. That's the first of four touchdowns for him on the night. Quincy ties it at seven. Later in the second quarter, it's Braden Little with the quick pass to the senior, and Rice does the rest of the work, weaving his way 47 yards to the end zone. Little throws for 335 and three touchdowns. Moline's fine season comes to an end. Quincy's moving on 44-14, to your final score.